Hey guys, today I want to share with you a nice little tool called T-Lapse to take time lapse of your web development. Now usually as a web developer, we take a lot of screenshots whether to show our clients or to our team of our progress. And taking screenshots is not so easy, it depends on you know your operating system. Now T-Lapse is a small tiny utility that can run in the background and listen to a port on your server and automatically takes a screenshot of the website every few seconds. So I want to show you today how you can use it to have fun, you know, so you don't have to take screenshots periodically manually. So to install T-Labs, all you have to do is go to the browser, go to your terminal and make sure you have npm installed. So use npm install dash g tlabs which will globally install the tlabs command line tool to your browser. Now I'm going to use this time um, the instant live reload server tutorial that I have. I'm going to use that as an example. So if I go into the folder and start the server by calling live server, this will load the website up. And now on the other separate tab, I'm going to start tlabs by calling tlabs and then telling it the server that I wanted to listen to, the size of the screenshots, and then for every minute it will take a screenshot. Now if there's no change, if it detects no change, it will not take a screenshot. And here is something really cool where you can pass in the selector and it will only take screenshot of that selector on your website. But for now I want to eliminate that and just do a regular full size screenshot. So when I do this, you notice that it creates a file almost immediately as you start the server. It takes a screenshot. Now let me do some change to the site. And then let's see if it takes if it detects that change, right? So if I do um, penta code, I press save and then I'm gonna add something else. Just making a small change as you would regularly would. And then if you meet the interval time, which is one minute, so this will tell you in verbose mode what it's doing. So in within a, a minute, it will take a screenshot of the current web page, which is extremely cool. Now, what can you use this for? You can use this to, I know you, you have GitHub, you can save your changes, but sometimes you're making changes to the site without committing every few minutes. So you want to go back in time to see what you did and what version of the site you have. This tool will be very useful. As you can see, it just took another screenshot. If I take a look at it, you see it's, uh, for some reason, it's not taking the change. Let me see if I save the website. Oh, because it's not taking screen screenshot because uh, I have this text here that's color black that's why you couldn't see it but if I change the title the title of the page is changed now I want to change this text here and let me do some styling change like that so now I actually made a visible change and the interval, once you hit it, it will take a screenshot. Now it all, it, this thing runs a, br uh, a browser like um, on the server side, which will render the web page and then it takes a screenshot of it. Now if I go there, see, it changes. It took the, the actual website change, which is the one I just made. Now you can do, use this to watch basically it's a watch process to watch a specific section of the website so if I want to do a screenshot of the hero class I can just watch it like this now it will only take the content inside the hero class instead of the whole web page as you can see immediately it took a the screenshot of the hero image. Now this thing ha is not so perfect. In my experiment I noticed that it 
doesn't take the image so well. Right now, you see this one is kind of cropped. And sometimes when I create a div, it doesn't take the image very well when certain CSS is applied. So I encourage you to experiment with this and see how it can help you with your work. And I hope this makes your workflow a lot easier.